Well, that's not very good. I think my heater might be down for the count. Usually the error codes that I get on it are something like the bad airflow or something that I can fix, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix this one on the road because it's bad glow plug. So I would need to order a new glow plug and install it in the heater. And then even then it might not even work. But the reason that I went with this cheap Amazon diesel heater is unlike an S-Bar or a Wabasto, which are the more expensive, they're like 1200, $2,000 to get one of those diesel heaters. This one's only like 120 bucks and it's lasted two years. So honestly, I'm probably just gonna buy another one pop it in there and even if I do that five more times it's still cheaper than the more expensive ones unfortunately that does mean we won't be able to go into very many more super cold climates and that really sucks because I wanted to go up in the mountains again and if you watched my last video you would know that the van plus no heater in very cold temperatures does not work because all of my water pipes froze my coffee maker froze and my water stopped running so I don't feel like dealing with that again so if I can't get that diesel heater working I think we might have to stay in a little bit warmer climates we can definitely still stay in the cold but nothing like up in the mountains where it's like below 15 degrees so that's kind of unfortunate but what can you do it's not very easy to get packages on demand like that on the road but this is where we slept last night nice loves gas station it's actually got a pretty good view of the mountains over there. We'll be driving through those today. It's trash day. Well, we've got breakfast. Every time I go to Love's, I like to stop in and grab their breakfast bowls because they're super easy to make and they're relatively healthy. And it's got a lot in there. It's got like bacon, eggs, potatoes peppers, cheese. All I gotta do is pop in the microwave and put some ketchup on it. And it's nice that they have microwaves in there because I do not have one in the van. So today, since we don't have any heat in the van and we're kind of near this spot that I know called Meadow Hot Springs, might as well go find a way to keep ourselves warm. And this place is super cool. It's on private property, but the owner of the property discovered these hot springs in the ground on his property and he allows people to go hang out in the hot springs and camp there for absolutely free. And they have a little donation box, but one of the hot springs has fish in it that eat the dead skin off your feet. So it's like a free spa. And then the other one is like a hundred feet deep. And then the main one just looks really cool. So super pumped to go. Delicious. I don't have any trash bags, AKA grocery bags left, but I think on the way to our spot tonight, I'm gonna stop by the grocery store and grab some stuff for dinner. Also, I spent a lot of my time at truck stops and I don't know if I've ever said this on the channel before, but Love's is by far my favorite. They have the cleanest bathrooms, cleanest showers, the best selection of food, and usually a nice restaurant next to it. And even now, I don't know if you can see it across the street, they have big RV stops for if you want to plug up your RV. They got giant RV parks next to uh, some of the gas stations now, but yeah, Love's is by far the best. And my window is very dirty from all the salt that's been on the roads. And I think this is the last of the kind of colder climates I'm gonna be in, at least now, since my heat is broken. I was planning to go back up into the mountains a little bit more, but that range right there is kind of the last higher elevation spot that we gotta drive through, and we're going around it today. But we got about an hour drive till we get there. So we have made it to the small town of Fillmore, Utah, and it's kind of hard to find grocery stores out here, at least big ones that have a lot of selection. But I think this town does have a large grocery store, so we're gonna stop by there. And I think I'm gonna make some chicken pot pie. And another reason I wanted to do chicken pot pie is because I made stew the other night and I have a bunch of leftover ingredients that I can throw into a pot pie. We didn't need to get much because I have like 80% of the ingredients already, but got two trash bags now. I think the water tank on the van is also a little bit low, so I'm gonna stop by the gas station down the road and see if they have a uh, potable water spigot. And then we're only like 15 minutes from our camp spot tonight. All right, let's see if they have one somewhere. <laughs> Love being on the West Coast. So many RVers and stuff out here that almost every gas station has somewhere where you can dump your tanks and uh, Fill up your water. Hooked up. And this green thing, for anyone who's wondering, is just another external filter I had to filter out some of the bigger stuff before it gets into my filters that I have in the in the van. There we go. 
filling up. Yeah, I think we're almost on E, so it might take a little while to get it fully full. 30 gallon tank back there. All right, I think we are pretty much full. Good water pressure here. Actually didn't take too long. All right, now we've got that done. Let's go find some hot springs. So this spot is kind of different from the normal spots that I camp at in the way that it's not public land, it's actually on private property, but as I said, the guy who owns it just kind of let it open to the public and lets people stay there and enjoy the hot springs. The road in is a bit rough. Oh, oh God, oh God. So many potholes, this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. All right. We have finally made it. There is the first of three of the hot springs. And I think I'm gonna pull off right here and call this camp for the night. Pull over here because that spot over there looked kind of muddy. Put it back in. We made it. So this is uh, hot spring number one. I think this is the one with the fish in it. And then there's one over there and then there's one all the way over there, and the one all the way over there is the really, really deep one. I think before we get out there, first thing I'm gonna do, get a bathing suit on. Luckily, it's not too, too cold out today, so walking around in shorts shouldn't be too bad. I don't really wanna use my bath towel. I think I have another towel in here somewhere. I do. Let's go. I also think this one is the coldest or the coolest out of the three. But look at that. It's a little bit cold but you can see the little fish in there and apparently they eat the uh, dead skin off your feet. So we're gonna see if that's true. Here comes some of them. I don't know if you guys can see them in there. Oh, there they are. I don't know if you can see them biting my toe. Ah, bit my toenail. Oh my God. There's like five of them all on my foot eating my, oh, it feels so, oh, that feels so weird. That one is just going crazy on my pinky toe. I don't know how well you guys can see this on camera, but there's like maybe 20 fish down there. And I'm gonna be honest, this pool isn't that warm it's definitely not as cold as it should be like 30 degrees 40 degrees like it is outside it's definitely a little bit warmer than that but i don't think i'll be going for a swim in this one i really hope you guys can see all these fish on the camera legitimately like i'm getting a pedicure there's a yellow one out there there's so many of them they're all eating the stuff off the bottom of my feet <laughs> so i'm gonna move over here and try a different spot because there was like one territorial fish over there that kept swimming out of the back and chasing them all off so i'm gonna dip it in here there's a couple fish over here we'll see Ooh, over here is so much warmer too See if we can get some nibbles over here. It's so weird when you put your feet in, it's like ringing a dinner bell. They're all in my heels again. I wish this water was a little more still so you could see it, but I think I'm done with my pedicure for now. I want to get into some warmer water, but it is kind of a hike to get there. It's all the way over there. And I could technically drive over there, but I kind of like my camp spot. I don't want someone else to pull in here and snag it from me. There we go. This is the next one. Look at that. It's got to be at least maybe 20 feet deep. There's a little fish in there too. I didn't know there was fish in this one. I don't know if I can't pick it up on camera, but you can see clear to the bottom. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy. It is so much warmer. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Oh, it's chilly. Oh. That feels so good. It's not like the warmest. I would say it's like bathtub temperature, but man, it feels good. It is kind of creepy though. It feels like a monster is going to come out and grab me from this like hole that's in the middle. And I brought my car key in my pocket, so that sucks. That probably is not going to work anymore. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But it's nice that these aren't like muddy. It's very, very clear. You can see a school of fish down there. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. I wish it was a little warmer though, but I think the one that's over there is much warmer than this one. It's nice to have this all to myself too. And these are completely natural hot springs. Oh, there's a cliff there. Just stepped off that. These are completely natural hot springs and they're geothermally heated. There's a lot of geothermal activity in Southern Utah, Wyoming, and all around this area, so. All the water comes from under the earth as well as the natural heat. But I mean, look at this. So picturesque with the mountains in the background. I don't know if you can see where I'm standing, but it's like legitimately on the edge of the cliff of this hole. There's like a little point right here that I'm standing on and then it just sinks down maybe 30 feet. There's a bunch of trash down there, which kind of sucks. Found the giant fish. Look at him. This is nice and it doesn't smell like sulfur at all, which usually these hot springs do. When I come to places like this and I find hot springs though, I don't like to put my head under because you never know what kind of stuff is in the water and I just don't want that going into my brain, getting like a brain eating amoeba or something. But I kind of want to go over to the hotter one. This one's just not doing it anymore. Ooh. I think I'm gonna dry off a little bit and then head over to the other one. Oh, it's cold. Man, it's cold. That's where the warm one is. It is? Yeah. Oh, it's warm? That one's warmer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one people go to. 
Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I know I say it every video, but I love America. Look at this. Over here, it's like walking through a minefield of mud. Oh God, it's slippery. Oh, this one is not fun to get to. Oh, okay. Made it through the minefield. Not looking forward to going back. Oh, okay. The helicopter. I think that helicopter is landing there. Or doing something. I don't know what they're doing. They are landing there. I guess they're going for a little dip in the hot spring. By far the warmest one. Feels good. But it is a little bit smaller. All right, so I couldn't film a lot at that one because a bunch of people showed up, so it's kind of packed, but I think I'm gonna walk out this way and uh, avoid those big muddy potholes. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I think it's time to head back to the van and make some dinner. Oh man, this is kind of a long walk and my hands are turning purple from how cold it is out here after being in that water. And this is the road that I had to drive down in on. It's like a minefield of these foot deep craters. It's also kind of nice too that everyone else who came in here <laughs> didn't really feel comfortable driving down this road. So all of them parked up there. And I got this whole spot down here kind of to myself, which is nice. Let's see if my van's key still works. Doesn't seem like it. Yep, van key is broken. And there's no keyhole on this door. It kind of sucks, this is the only key I've had. I'm the only key I've had for two years since living in the van and nothing's ever been wrong with it. For some reason, new keys for this thing are like 300 bucks. So I'm gonna take this apart and dry it out and get some dry clothes on. Hopefully it starts working again tomorrow. All right, so I got the uh, battery taken out. It was all kinds of wet, literally soaked all the way through. And the inside, the whole motherboard in there is soaking wet. I think I do have another battery for it in the van that I'm gonna try to use after I let this kind of air dry a little bit. I don't know. Might be a lost cause. Should get nice and dry right there. It is pretty cool to have the hot spring right outside the front door though. Even though I wouldn't even really call that one a hot spring, it was more lukewarm, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna start making this pot pie. I don't think I'm gonna put the apron on today. Shouldn't be too messy of a meal. But I have some carrots and celery left over from a stew I made the other night. I'm gonna use those and kind of get all these chopped up and prepped. I really love it when two recipes come together like this and I can reuse some of the ingredients I already bought. I love peeling carrots, it's so satisfyingly easy. I actually just remembered I don't need to cut my onion because I have half an onion already cut up that I saved from another recipe. I don't remember which one. And then the last thing we're going to do is shred out some of this rotisserie chicken. And in my opinion, rotisserie chicken is the best to use because it's just the juiciest chicken you're going to find. And it's just so much easier than having to cook the chicken yourself. So I'm going to slice off both of these breasts and we'll just use those. And I think I'm actually going to leave the skin on because I think that's where a lot of the flavor is. Some recipes will tell you to take it off, but I think it's pretty good with the skin on. I think that should be enough. We can always get more if we need it. And we can just shred it up. You know, the fish jumping around over there in the hot spring. There we go, nice and shredded. There we go. Also, all of the numbers on my dial for my oven have faded away, so I kind of just got to guesstimate. I think that's right around 425. And this is the reason I love these pans, that the handle is detachable, I can put them in the oven. Makes it super easy. I got my pie crust out too. Getting up to temp so I can roll them out easier. Get a nice amount of butter melted in there along with a touch of some oil. And then now that our butter is nice and melted, we're in our onion. And once those are cooked up and nice and tender, I'm sprinkling about a third of a cup of flour. And then mix that together until we get kind of like a paste forming in the pan. I had to add a little bit more butter to get it to kind of turn into a paste, but this looks pretty good. And now we can add in a chicken broth, which is also left over from my stew. Actually, this is beef broth, so we won't add that. And instead, we'll just use some chicken bouillon and water. If I can open it. There we go. A spoonful of this bouillon. And add some water in there. And give that a nice stir. It's essentially gonna be our chicken broth. And then to that, and I might add some more bouillon and water, but we can add our celery and our carrots. Trying not to overdo it too much. 
add in our chicken. And then some frozen peas, about a half a cup of milk. And then we can just cook this up and kind of let it reduce down. And then the final thing, just add some seasonings to it. We've got some white pepper, some oregano, garlic powder, a little bit of paprika, and then some salt. Get that all nice and incorporated, mixed together, and we'll kind of just cook this until it gets nice and thick. I'm gonna add just a little bit more bouillon. I guess this is not bouillon, this is better than bouillon. It should only take around five to 10 minutes for this to thicken up nicely. All right, so while I was letting this thicken up and I think I've gotten it to a point that I'm happy with how thick it is, go ahead and flatten out the top here. And I took my uh, pie crust out, let it sit, turn that down to low. And I think I'm gonna try to get a little creative with this pie crust, make a face on it. So we'll go for eyes, I'll use my ring to cut them out. And we can reuse those as like a nose, kind of. And then cut them a nice slit for a mouth. There we go, look how happy he looks. And we can take our face pie crust. Push it down on the sides in there. Give him some fun hair with the top of it. And I'm gonna trim off any excess. There we go, look at him. He's so happy. And the last thing we gotta do before we pop this bad boy in the oven is hit it with a nice little egg wash over the top. And I don't have one of those paint brushes for doing this, so I'm just using the back of the spoon. There we go. Our happy little pot pie is ready to go in the oven. And we'll let him cook for about 20 minutes. And I am very pumped because, uh, one, I haven't eaten anything since breakfast, and two, I've been craving pot pie all day. But. Looks like this, the wind has died down a lot. Walk over there and check out this little pond again. See if you can see the fish any better. Oh yeah, you can really see them now. Look at them. There's so many of them. Might have to come back out here, put my feet in again. There's a couple big guys in here too. I can see one down there. I think while I'm waiting for that to bake, I am actually gonna go for another little toe dip. Like we've got some takers. There's two of them back yeah, there eating up my heel. Really yeah. like... Golden one. Peace out, feed eaters. Look at that sunset too. It's beautiful. But I've been here all day and they just got here to take some photos. So I figured I'd give them the pond so they could get some good ones. She came out here in a dress and is walking in that water. But now all I have to do is wait to eat. All right, so the pot pie needs about probably five more minutes. Okay. But look at this sunset. Looks amazing behind the clouds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she has gotten fully into the pond <laughs> in her dress taking pictures. All right, let's see if she's done. I got this piece of bread out because I was going to make some toast, but I don't think I am. Oh my God. <laughs> That's actually horrifying, but hopefully it tastes good. So now I'm just going to let this cool off a little bit and we get to eat. We're going all out for this photo shoot. I bet these photos are going to look really good with that background. I kind of want to see what they look like. All right, it's time to say goodbye to Mr. Pot Pie Man. Take out his left eye right here. Ooh, that looks good. And this is like the perfect consistency. I still got my key drying on. I'm hoping it's doing a little better. Maybe we'll put it over here by the window. I already know this is going to be face meltingly hot. And I have a bad habit <laughs> of eating foods uh, when they're a little too hot. Ah. Uh, <sighs> uh. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> That's perfect. That really hits the spot. Oh. And also, luckily, at this spot that I'm at, it's not supposed to get too, too cold, only around like 34, 35 tonight. So I shouldn't have to worry about anything freezing since my heater is broken. So that's good. But, Popeye was delicious. Also, I think my battery has dried out as much as it's going to. And I did have an extra battery in the front, so. So I'm gonna throw this in there and see if it works. Hopefully this works. Nope, it is still not doing anything, so. I'm gonna have to let it dry overnight, but wow. Look at that sunset. That is a magnificent sunset out there. Oh my gosh, it does work. 
now it's working. But I'm gonna take it out and let it dry out overnight, just in case, because I don't want this new battery to get wet, but it's good to know that it works. Popeye was delicious, I got the rest of it in the oven, staying warm, because I might want a little bit of it later. Potentially. What's your, uh, what's your Instagram? Yeah, dude. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll come give it to you. Sweet. I want to see the pictures. Yeah, dude. What's your Instagram? It's Ryan, R-Y-A-N. You type it in. My hands are cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you must be freezing. That water's not even that warm, too. Reese? Yeah, nice, nice to meet you, dog. Nice I'm Aubrey. Aubrey. I'm Courtney. I'm the Courtney. friend. <laughs> nice <laughs> to meet you guys. I was talking to them while they were out there taking their pictures, and uh, I asked them to send them to me so I could show you guys. Anyways, dinner, done. Hot springs, done. It's a little bit cold without my heater. Not too bad. It is dark outside and it's cold, so I'm probably just gonna hunker down in here for the rest of the night. Get under my cover so I don't have a heater. Watch a movie. So, as always, truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, think about clicking that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>